we are chaired by uh, Justice uh, Mufti Muhammad Taqi Uthmani of Pakistan. Uh, Mufti Taqi is probably one of the most well-known figures in modern uh, Muslim scholarship. He is the chairman of the Aofi Sharia Board. Uh, and he is the author of many, many works on the subject of Islamic finance. In terms of experience, he has worked with the largest uh, investment banks in the world. He was uh, chairman of our Dow Jones Islamic uh, Index. He's no longer with us, but uh, he, he's cut back his board memberships, uh, but in order to be able to write more. Nonetheless, he remains the chairman of uh, the Sharia Board for Guidance Residential. Not only is he, is he chairman, but he is an active chairman. If you know uh, Mufti Taqi, you know that he is a very hands-on person. He insists uh, on very uh, strict uh, compliance, and he insists on going over every shred of evidence, every single document, page by page, word by word. Uh, and so he's a, uh, 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 you know, he, he's really a, an example for, for, for all of us to emulate. Um, in my travels recently I, in the United States, I've uh, heard questions from people about uh, whether or not Mufti Taqi is still involved with the Sharia board at Guidance Residential. And uh, I've discovered that the reason people have doubts is that there is something on, on his website with regard, it's a disclaimer, uh, to, to the effect that uh, someone in the United States is using his fatwa without his permission. That is not a reference to guidance at all. Uh, in fact, if you go to the, the guidance uh, website, you'll find that he is there. And if you go to his website, you'll see that guidance residential is listed amongst the boards uh, on which he continues to sit. Uh, the rest of the members of our Sharia board include um, uh, Dr. Muhammad Al-Qawri from, uh, from Saudi Dr. Muhammad uh, sits on the boards of, uh, of scores of institutions internationally. He has a PhD in economics from Stanford and is, uh, has established himself as one of the, uh, uh, as one of the top uh, experts on, on Sharia uh, mu'amalat, fiqh mu'amalat in, in, in the world today. Why? Because in addition to his academic credentials, um, like, the rest of the, like the rest of the members of our board, uh, in addition to the academic credentials, there, are, there is the matter of experience. And I can't emphasize enough how important experience is. Uh, those of you who are professionals will understand this immediately. I mean, it's one thing to have read and understood uh, all of your lessons uh, on, on, the, on your way to becoming a doctor, or a lawyer for that matter, or any other kind of a professional. But it's another thing to actually, you know, deal with patients, uh, to, uh, to take the scalpel in your hand, so to speak. So it's that experience, it's that element that really rounds out the picture. Without that experience, um, you know, book learning, uh, academics, it, it's just not enough. Um, and that's really what distinguishes uh, the members of our board here from, uh, you know, from, from other Sharia scholars. All of us are people who have uh, worked within the financial arena for uh, several decades and have been exposed to all manner of uh, financial um, activity, business, uh, and uh, investment. So Sheikh Nizamna Yaqubi is from Bahrain, is likewise a member of the boards uh, uh, of Islamic banks all over the world, investment houses, uh, asset managers, home finance companies, takaful companies. Um, likewise, Dr. Abdus Sattar Wudda uh, is perhaps best known for his work on the Fiqh Encyclopedia uh, for the uh, Ministry of al in Kuwait. He also headed up their uh, zakat effort for many years. 
Dr. Muhammad Dawood Bakr is from Malaysia, is the head of the uh, advisory body to the, uh, the Sharia advisory body to Bank Negara, the state bank. He is also the head of the Sharia board for the Securities Commission in Malaysia. And uh, Dr. Imran uh, 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 Osmani is Dr. Uh, is Sheikh uh, Taki's son. Uh, Imran has been involved in Sharia finance now for the last 15 years and serves on the boards of uh, several different Islamic banks internationally. And so uh, that's a brief uh, uh, introduction to um, the Sharia board, which uh, contributed to the development of the Guidance Residential uh, Musharraka Home Finance product and which continues to supervise the operations of Guidance Financial such that nothing takes place uh, within uh, the Guidance Residential without the knowledge of the Sharia Supervisory Board. We conduct uh, audits. Uh, we, we have conducted these uh, regularly in the past. We meet uh, regularly uh, every year to discuss <coughs> situations. We communicate with management on a regular basis by email, by telephone. And whatever is going on at guidance is communicated directly to us by means of, of management, by their legal teams, by their business teams, whoever it is. And so if, uh, if ever even a single word is to be changed in any of the contracts, um, they first have to have the approval of our Sharia board. So alhamdulillah, uh, we feel quite confident about the, uh, about the uh, let's call it the Sharia authenticity of the products offered by uh, guidance uh, residential. And uh, I'm sure that uh, all of us are very proud to have been uh, a part of the, uh, um, the development process uh, that actually brought this to our community here in the United States. And alhamdulillah.